The idea behind Kestrel and Company started back in the mid 80s. I had thought about the idea of doing perhaps either a documentary or a cable access television program uh, about witchcraft because I knew it to be a very beautiful thing and I wanted to somehow share that with other people and I thought video would be a very good way to do it. Um, it was needed back then because there was a lot of misconception. There was a huge amount of misperception about what pagan spirituality people, um, people who call themselves witches or pagans or whatever. Again, I think it's because there were so many misconceptions. Um, and no one, as far as I knew, had come out um, into the main media to explain. You, used to, you would see an occasional TV show where it was putting everybody down that was the least bit of uh, interested in occult practices of any kind. It brought a lot of people from diverse portions of the craft community, brought them a, lot, a lot of them together. With the exception of the program Bewitched, witches were pretty much represented as devil, uh, devil worshiping, baby stealing uh, uh, demons for, most, for the most part. And we broke that mold. I think Kestrel and Company was needed by our community, by our country at large, because at that point I would say witchcraft uh, sat in a dark and dusty corner.